Bask your eyes on the majesty that is this 2016 G-Wagon, a luxury vehicle coveted by many but beloved by few. This G-Wagon is powered by the infamous 5.5 liter twin turbo V8, putting out around 563 horsepower and a stout 560 foot-pounds. This once rugged military vehicle designed to traverse the harshest of terrains, it's now the ultimate status symbol for the elite. From its humble military beginnings to its lavish modern day existence, the G-Wagon has become a symbol of opulence and power. Today, we're here to find out if this iconic military spec off-roader is more than just a weekend warrior. We're going to put it to the ultimate test. Will it be the best daily driver you should strive to obtain, or will it just be another pretty toy to show off to your friends? First stop, busy long weekend downtown traffic. We're back with Marcel from My Auto. I'm sure you guys recognize him from a few videos in the past. Hey guys. Marcel, say hi. What's and, going uh, on? Tell the viewers what we're driving today. So part of our business is we also have a couple of rental vehicles and we are currently in our rental 2016 Mercedes G-Wagon G63 seeing what Tony's reaction is and how he likes it. I was a bit apprehensive at first, but uh, I was kind of curious about these just because it was kind of a weird, weird vehicle. It's like a really fast truck, but SUV, but ex-military. So I didn't really know what to expect and I just figured that, uh, yeah, okay, it's just for people who wanted to uh, show off and flex a little bit of money kind of deal, but it, uh, it would be nice to see and get a real world experience with one of these vehicles. Oh yeah, it drives like a, it drives like a truck. Yeah. Now driving as well, this one we did put Bravo wheels on and it does have off-roady tires for looks. Yeah. So that definitely adds to it driving like a truck, but. But I mean, at the end of the day, that's kind of what these were made for, right? It was meant yeah. to be like a, do everything all terrain kind of vehicle. Yeah, there used to be military vehicles back in World War II, I believe. Yeah, somewhere around there. And then from what I've heard, and some of you probably fact check me on this, but Mercedes just had a bunch of these left, and then they also had some S-Class interior parts, and they kind of just threw them together and... Let's see what we can do. And they just chucked <laughs> there it all you go. Yeah. Like Play-Doh. Yeah. And then they made the G-Wagon. Because the old ones were very military. Like the doors click the same. So I'd imagine they did that on purpose. So that it would be kind of true to its heritage. But then they decided maybe that's the whole AMG thing. They're like, oh, it doesn't need just a V8. Let's throw a big V8 with twin turbos on it and make, was it? 500 and 563 horsepower and yeah. 560 foot pounds of torque and uh so this one here marcel what's done to this one specifically because it's a little bit louder than normal so basically all that's really done to it is we cut the cats out of it gutted them and welded them back on so it just has it's not tuned or anything it just sounds a little bit better yeah so i guess just a tune to get rid of the the lights yeah pretty much you do get a bit more of the turbo spool which is awesome and it does have a tiny bit of an exhaust note or a bit of an increased exhaust note but that's pretty much all I really hear like that's pretty much it oh caravan or Kia please please don't touch us stay in your lane please you're the peasant vehicle yeah in this vicinity <laughs> sir yeah did you feel your credit score go up when you hopped in here yeah a little bit yeah my wallet got a bit thicker yeah my ego just barely fits in the back now yeah but, you know, at the end of the day, I have to reach and almost touch Marcel's leg in a very interesting way to get my McDonald's. It works on a first date, though. Oh. Let me just grab my cup. Oh. Stop short. <laughs> Where is it? It's all the way down there. Yeah, there we'll you go. try and show oh, you. Oh, not that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> wrong hole. <laughs> wrong, wrong hole. It, it's basically like... A hoop with a net. It's really weird and it's super far away. So if somebody says they got into an accident because they were reaching for their coffee or their Stanley mug, oh, I don't know if a Stanley mug would fit in that. I'm sure we can find out. Holy crap. Okay, it's torquey. But the one thing I did notice is the steering wheel. You have to turn it so many times compared to a regular vehicle. So the turning radius feels pretty good, but 
feels like you're turning it three and a half times. Oh. There was another. What was that? A Ferrari. You just pissed off a handful of Italians. Pasta. Well, we're uh, we're definitely putting it to the test of rush hour traffic. I think this would be considered worse than rush hour. But you know what? We're under a tunnel, so I feel like I need to rev. But he's cool. Hell yeah! He there got the go. memo. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna crack the window and make noise. For as big as it is, it doesn't feel that big. No, I think it's pretty narrow actually. It's just tall. Yeah, like it's pretty narrow. I see that I have over a foot and a half on either side and this is usually kind of sketchy passing cars. Okay, let's check turning radius. Hit the apex, crank it. Still going into the other lane. That's okay. okay. Our cruise through the downtown core went better than expected. Surprisingly, the G-Wagon wasn't all that bad. Next stop, we're off to the busy mall parkade to see how it does. Oh, this is freaking tight. Okay, we're good. We're good. Time to back it up. Let's see what this backup camera's all about. Oh, what the heck? The bird's eye view. What kind of bird? One that doesn't fly super high. <laughs> it's a mockingbird. It's a mockingbird. It's a mockingbird. For our short stint of maneuvering this thing in a parkade underground, it really wasn't all that bad, surprisingly. It still feels and handles like a truck, but I guess it could be a lot worse. Marcel and I are feeling a little parched from our shopping spree. Time to fully embrace the basic white girl drive through experience. Oh my god, that was such an awesome drive. We need to get Starbucks. Oh, let's go get some Starbucks. I'm feeling Starbucks right oh now. Oh my god. I hope they have the pumpkin spice lattes. Oh, it's all about the pink. Drink. Hi, honey. <laughs> what an awesome Sunday. We went to a party downtown last night, driving a G. They're so jealous. Basic. Oh, just don't curb it. I'm trying not to. Oh Lord, there's a big bump. Oh, oh, oopsie. Mm -hmm. What do you want? I'll be right with you. Uh, okay. Grande pink drink with chocolate cream cold foam. You want a grande? A grande. Is that large? Yes. Like BBC? No, medium. BBC. Sorry about that, what can I get for you? Hi, can I get a venti matcha latte with less fat? More foam, heavy whip, two pumps of strawberry syrup, grande pink drink with chocolate foam. Anything else? Um, that's all, thank you. Hi. It's okay to laugh. He lost, he lost a bet. And it's no, moral support. It's moral support. support. That's what besties do. No, She's laughing on my hair. That's for her manager. Okay, pink train. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh my god. What is it? Batty summer. Slay. Stop. Thanks. I got a question for you. Do you like my shirt? <laughs> it's a choice. I would not wear that if I didn't work here. Uh, no? Okay, bye. It's Britney, bitch. Tell me what you think. One shot, one shot to a lifetime. Give you my all. Not sure really what to say about this thing. It's kind of strange because it checks boxes and it does some things well, but it doesn't do a bunch of things great like it's fast 
and it's sort of practical and it's easy to drive other than the steering i mean the steering is like turning a truck and at the end of the day there's a purpose for this and i definitely think everybody should end up driving one there's without a doubt a purpose and the purpose i believe is when i was chatting with marcel the purpose behind the g-wagon specifically is somebody that is a little more sophisticated doesn't want a jeep doesn't want a bronco doesn't feed into and drink their kool-aid it's somebody that wants something a little more luxurious a little bit more refined technically when you think about it this is the only thing that really checks those boxes for people holy sh okay so it's fast but it is sketchy it has the aerodynamics of a 70, 1970 brick house. Doesn't really handle all that great, and it does have all-terrain tires, but man, it was all over the place. For what it is, it's not the lightest thing ever. It's just over 6,000 pounds, so it's not light. It definitely has the weight and the girth behind it, but for all of that weight, you can feel that it's a very heavy and solid automobile. It would be safe, it would be secure if you drove around with your friends, family, loved ones inside of it. And for that, that's what a lot of people kind of look for. They want something where in the event, nobody anticipates they'd get into an accident or have some sort of a mishap or fender bender, but I don't doubt that this one here will definitely protect anybody that's inside of it, without a doubt. People always say that Volvos are big, sturdy, robust automobile. I don't know about you guys, but if the G-Wagon and a Volvo went one-on-one -on -one in a head-on, I have a feeling this thing is gonna punt it away like it's, uh, like it's a piece of styrofoam. Driving out here on the back roads, it's not so bad. I mean, it could be a decent, uh, decent vehicle to go on a road trip. Again, the seats aren't the most comfortable. Maybe it's just I haven't found the exact setting that I want. For handling, again, very boaty, very truck-like. Could it be worse? Sure, I guess it could be an actual truck. It's heavy, it's fast, the throttle's super sensitive, it makes all the right noises. Could you daily drive it, and would it be a good city runabout vehicle? Maybe. It's not bad to drive, it's ironically not as wide as it looks, it's more tall than anything, but the fuel economy is awful we've only been driving for a short time and we're already down about a quarter tank and we've gone maybe 60 kilometers and we haven't been on the throttle all that much we haven't been blasting ac or racing the audi rs or lambo or whatever next to us it's more just cruising around as a pavement princess and uh kind of showing off your luxury g-wagon again at the end of the day history behind it it's a military spec vehicle that has now been more luxurious. It's more refined for the most part. It's for that upper echelon of clientele. But at the end of the day, it might be more of a status symbol because for what this vehicle was built for and intended for, which I'm starting to learn the more I drive the vehicle, it doesn't get used for it. Again, Whistling Diesel has gone out and did a torture test on his but at the end of the day, if you're just driving this thing as a city runabout vehicle on pavement and you never take it off road, you're really not getting your money's worth out of it. At that point, you may as well just get a Jeep and have a Mercedes sport car on the side and have two that between the both of them check more boxes and does everything well. This, it's fast and it feels like it's gonna kill you and I'm sure it's capable off road, but that's it. It's such a weird vehicle that you also cannot deny the character behind it. You cannot deny the fact that it's such a weird vehicle. And I like weird cars, but this is definitely top tier weird. This is extra, extra weird. The G-Wagon is definitely a car everyone should drive and experience for themselves. To be honest, the more I drove it, the more I started to like it. Somehow and surprisingly. Speaking of experiencing the car for yourself, make sure that you stop by and check out My Auto in Calgary. They have many luxury vehicles that you can rent and try out for a special occasion or just take out for a night out. Thanks to Marcel and the My Auto team for letting us drive this Mercedes. 
Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure that you hit the like and subscribe button so we can bring more car reviews to you guys. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. I'm getting like, your boss is gonna be like, Maybe don't or the wife video. will be like, you're cheating on me. You're cheating on me. What's all this blonde hair? You just look like an ugly girl. I know. I just look like I'm of a transgender. Yeah. Trans I'm Transylvania. <laughs> Smooth like silk. Ow. Oh, the BMW still turn signal. Turn signal. Uh, Miss, Miss Editor, get in the side camera. There's a BMW with a turn signal on here. I'm gonna move over. It's still... Oh, it shut off. Yeah. Okay, so it's shorted. It's defective. Yeah. Okay. You gonna... heard the little ding on the inside now? Yeah. Car is going into limp mode. Oh, I felt that one.